Good morning students. Today we will learn branches of accounting. We have learned the importance, functions, then the uses. After uses only we are going to learn the branches of accounting. Okay, now the branches. The accounting is divided into five branches. Number one, financial accounting. Financial accounting, final accounts, because financial transactions only entered in the books of accounts and which type of transactions, transactions and events which had occurred that means historical events are entered, historical events means already Occurred transactions. Future transactions we never write. Already occurred. Then this financial accounting provides information for the users, all the users, for taking decisions. All the users we have studied, internal users, external users, mainly they will be following this financial accounts only financial accounting here it starts with identification of transactions that is the first step everything will be done in a systematic way first one in that system what is the first one identification then recording first they will identify the transactions then they will record them in the books of accounts then they will classify that ledger accounts they will prepare classifying and the balances of ledger accounts are summarized in the trial balance that is summarizing what they are summarizing all the financial transactions financial transactions and it starts with the identification and it ends with it ends with preparation of financial statements. Preparation of financial statements. We know the financial statements many times I have told you two statements. One is income statement, the other is financial position. income statement and financial position financial position is ascertained from the balance sheet so income statement and balance sheet we can see from the income statement we calculate the profit or loss from the balance sheet we ascertain the financial position of the business so the ordinary accounting is the financial accounting. It provides various information for the users, especially for taking decisions, proper decisions. Then it, this financial accounting starts with identification, recording, classifying and summarizing of all financial transactions and ends with the preparation of financial statements. And income state, financial statements are income statement and balance sheet. Here from the income statement we can calculate the profit or loss. Here that income statement is also called as trading and profit and loss account. Trading and profit and loss account. One account, this profit and loss account then balance sheet. So from the trading and profit and loss account we can calculate the profit from the trading account we can get the gross profit from the profit and loss account we will get the net profit okay you have understood then the second accounting is cost accounting from the name itself we have to we can ascertain the cost so cost of products will be calculated or cost of product or service 
to provide a service how much is the cost or total cost how much we spend that's the meaning cost means how much we spend for that particular product to produce that particular product or service that is called the cost of production so it involves this cost accounting involves what and all it involves the collection we will collect the cost collection recording their identification no? then the same way here it is called collection recording classification we will classify into fixed cost variable cost that is called classification that is one big uh, um, book in cost accounting uh, if you study mcom you will study there financial accounting cost accounting each one 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 subject there so here we are studying only one heading so it involves the cost accounting involves the collection recording classification and allocation of expenditure and allocation of expenditure for the determination of cost or uh, yeah, determination or fixing the cost determination of cost of product cost of product or service if they do one particular work for example constructing a building so they will collect all the expenditure separately and they will record them they will classify them what is the or uh, that day to day expenditure then the uh, fixed expenses everything they will they will allocate what is the fixed cost what is the variable cost everything they will uh, allocation of all expenditure for the determination of cost of product so they will calculate the total cost of that product or total um, cost of that service then along with this one they will add some profit or gain that will be the price of that product for that purpose only for fixing the price they are calculating the cost of product understood so it, this will be very useful for the management in taking their decision and for the purpose of cost control if they reduce the cost only then they can earn more profit if the cost is more they cannot increase the gain and they cannot increase the price instead they have to reduce the cost in order to reduce the cost they have they will calculate the this cost of product or service understood the next one is management accounting management accounting this management accounting also related to cost accounting and financial accounting we can say it is a combination of financial accounting and cost accounting with this accounting only they will take decisions in the management about the future plans and policies or for any to control any day to day operations of the enterprise so they will collect the information from financial accounting and cost accounting financial accounting and cost accounting they will group them they will modify them and they will they will present them in order to take some to do some function in the management or for discharging any functions or for the decision making purposes for decision making or for controlling etc for this purpose they will use the financial accounting and cost accounting that they will collect them and they will group them modify them that means they will calculate what is the ratio all these things will be calculated in this place only in the management accounting then the next one is social responsibility accounting accounting is not ending with the management accounting social responsibility accounting is related to the society 
in the beginning in the introduction i have told you because any organization is running in the midst of a, a society so they have to take care the society around which they are working so what are the uh, things they have to take care what they are uh, uh, following up especially the if they run an industry that that may create any pollution so they have to control that pollution or environment pollution either air pollution or water pollution whatever it is that should be controlled so that will be done with the help of this social responsibility accounting that also they have to incur some expenditure isn't it they cannot simply do any activities without spending anything so all that they spend with regard to this environmental pollution then any infrastructural development infrastructural development means the construction purposes for that they have to get the workers from the same locality or any employment opportunities this employment opportunities will be provided for the people those who are around that institution so all these need the that investment of some amount as the expenditure so this will be this will be done with the help of the social responsibility accounting then the last one is human resources accounting human resources human resources in the sense the amount invested for the purpose of the human resources human resources means the employees or the personnel everybody maybe the workers or if all the people those who work under that institution so they have to spend some amount in the human resources as the salary then their uh, insurance medical any other allowance everything is also cost a lot so this will be coming under this human resources accounting so all the it will identify and they will quantify quantify means they will say how much they have to spend with regard to human resource and reporting investments reporting all the investments that they do with regard to human resources investment in human resources that is called human resource accounting understood now we will learn the basis of accounting basis on which basis we are entering recording there are three bases one first one cash basis we know the cash transactions that is all cash basis under cash basis of accounting only the actual cash receipts actual cash receipt and actual cash payments payments are recorded what are recorded only actual cash receipts actual cash payments are recorded if we do not receive any cash we may not enter that one in the accounting that is cash basis only cash transactions are recorded that means a cash receipts and payments only are recorded then what is not recorded all credit transactions are not recorded understood only the cash transactions are recorded under cash basis if there is any income if we receive that income only then they will write so any income received any expenditure paid 
all the expenses that they have paid that is the actual cash receipts and actual cash payments and if we purchase an asset asset purchased but we should pay the cash and cash paid asset purchased and cash paid any liability we paid paid whether it that liability is related to the past year present year or future any it doesn't matter what any years any periods liability if we paid that will be included that is cash basis then accrual or mercantile basis accrual or mercantile basis second one accrual or mercantile basis this is what many of the organizations follow even we also follow this accrual or mercantile basis here they never consider whether it is actual cash receipts what they see whether it is accrued if it is a receipt or revenue whether it is accrued income accrued but not received we will enter even though we have not received if that income has been accrued accrued means what is the meaning mm, for example rent rent uh, is accrued rent we have we need to receive from a bill that we have hired a building for someone that rent must be received in uh, in the month of march rent of march we close the accounts also in the month of march but when we will receive this rent in first april isn't it so here what is the meaning this rent has been accrued whether we have received no we have not received but this will be included in the books of accounts that is called accrual basis whether it is accrued any income or any expenditure any expenditure whether it is incurred expenses incurred but not paid i will tell one example here uh, we are paying salaries to the employees isn't it at uh, at the end of the month for one month if they work only when we will pay the salary first april they will pay the salary okay but we are closing this in the month of march books accounts close on in the month of march 31st so this expenses already incurred they have worked for the whole month so that is related to that year's expenditure so we will take all the expenditure whether we have paid or not whether it is related to that particular year then we will include this one in the in the present years expenditure that is what expenses incurred but not paid we will record what we will record first all the receipts whether all the received or revenue which are accrued but not received and all the expenses incurred but not paid this will be recorded in the books of accounts in the same way if any asset is purchased asset is purchased whether we have paid or not if cash paid or not if we have purchased and that asset for credit we will include this in the books of accounts in the same way any liability incurred whether we have paid or not 
we have failed or not. During that accounting period, all these will be entered. Whether we pay or not, whether we receive or not, we will enter this in the books of accounts. That is called accrual or mercantile basis. Here, this is the best method that among the three bases, this accrual or mercantile basis is recommended by the Indian Companies Act under section 128.3 of Indian Companies Act. Companies Act 2013. It is asking to follow the accrual basis of accounting. That is why we follow this basis I told you. Accrual basis is the best one that is recommended by Indian Companies Act under section 128.3. Okay, the next one, third one, hybrid basis or mixed basis. Hybrid basis or mixed basis. It is a mixture of both the cash basis and accrual basis. Here, which one will be cash basis and which one? Accrual we will see. Both the cash basis and accrual basis are mixed here. Here, <coughs> revenues and assets. Revenues and assets. That means, here revenue means income. The asset that we purchase, asset, they are recorded on the basis of cash basis. Then expenses and liabilities. They will follow the accrual basis. Just to protect the company, no? they are following this one. Assets if we purchase, pay cash only then they will write. Revenue also if they receive, they will write. But any expense incurred or any liability incurred we have not paid even then that also will be recorded so they are following for revenues and assets cash basis expenses and liabilities they follow the accrual basis but it is not followed by many institution either cash basis or the best one is accrual basis small concerns they may follow the cash basis you might have understood now this basis of accounting now we will see the last heading Role of an accountant. Do you think only that accountant has to prepare the accounts, financial accounts, that is financial statement, a trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet, he can sit simply? No. He performs many roles in a business organization. First one, as we said, he is preparing the books of accounts. So, he is the record keeper. He maintains many records so that he is called a record keeper. What are the records he keeps? He That means he maintains a systematic record. We know the journal entry. Then identifying, recording, then classifying, summarizing, then preparing final accounts. All these he is doing. Okay. So systematic recording of financial transactions. All the transactions which are of financial in nature. That is why financial transactions. And at last what he does? He prepares the financial statements and financial reports. Financial report. He has to prepare. Understand? He is a record keeper. First, first, first and foremost role is he is a record keeper because he is recording all the uh, financial transactions in a systematic way and he has to prepare the financial statements and the financial reports then next role what is this next role provider of information provider of information to the management He has to assist the management. 
how for their what is the work of management they will take they will take the decisions for the future for decision making purpose he is providing this information what is the information that they are providing to the managers with all the financial statements and financial reports so only then the management can take decision and they, they can control the business operations then protector of business assets because he prepare the balance sheet in the balance sheet what is entered all the assets of the business so because he is entering next year also he will compare this assets with the the actual asset they have to sell at last so he is acting as the protector of business assets all the assets which are owned by the business they are recording them so they can they can exercise control over these assets who the management so indirectly he is protecting the business assets and again he can advise the management to ensure any business assets if there is if it is in a dangerous condition they can ask them to insure such assets or if they need any maintenance or service for any asset they can advise them to the management in order to do maintenance or repair whatever it is so he is acting as a protector of business assets then the fourth one is financial advisor financial advisor since he is maintaining the books of accounts he may know how much profit that that business concern is earning so it can advise the management to invest the excess money in other investments to invest their savings or their excess amount in the development projects or outside or inside the organization so there will be many investment opportunities that they there that that field must be known to the management in order to improve their finance their excess savings will be advised to invest in other concerns or they have to ask them any uh, cost to make cost control if the cost of product cost of a pro- cost of production or cost of a product total cost of a product is more they will ask them they will advise them unless we control this cost we cannot Im- improve our profit that will be done then any future growth or development for that also they will advise them what they, what can they do or for the expansion of the business how can we improve our business all these will be advised by the accountant so he is acting as a financial advisor then fifth one he is a tax manager because as per the books of accounts only the tax will be assessed tax will be calculated so he has to prepare the tax returns and it will be he has to prepare not only preparing he has to file them file them in the office and not only file them and they have to make payment also so he has to prepare the tax returns and he has to file in time within the time limit they have to file all the tax returns and payment also must be done within the time limit so he is acting as a tax manager then again they can give advice 
for the management regarding reducing the tax burden how can they reduce the tax how that uh, no concern will be ready to pay more tax so reduction of tax will be known by the tax that accountant so he can advise the management how to reduce the tax or uh, tax exemptions will be there some ex uh, for example if they invest in mutual fund they do not need to pay tax uh, no need to pay tax at the same time they can get more return from that investment so all these will be known by the accountant so he can advise the management for reducing tax or any tax exemption um, is available everything will be know will be informed the management then the last role public relation officer now he is not only working within the organization he is having some relationship with the other public or the many users of this accounting information so he he can act as a public relation officer because he is providing uh, because he is the one who is Uh, preparing this uh, financial statements so anybody uh, can contact him even if the court is uh, requiring that company to provide or submit the uh, books of accounts this accountant only has to take those books of accounts to the court the he may be one of the user of the financial information so this uh, accountant is acting as a public relation officer to various users because many users are there in a business organization for all of them he is the one the accountant is the one providing this financial information so he is acting as the public relation officer understood then you if you need to if you don't understand once you listen then once again you will listen to this these three headings and you will understand very clearly by this we have completed i will mark the question answers now all the one word we have completed now the two mark question very short answer the fifth one name any two bases of recording accounting information if they ask you can write any two bases either cash basis then accrual basis or accrual basis and mixed basis any two you can write and write one or two sentences under that heading but they have asked only name but sometimes they may not give mark so you write at least one what is the name of that one okay then the short answer discuss briefly the branches of accounting today we have studied this branches of accounting all the five branches you write under that heading branches of accounting you write everything and write one or two sentences if they ask for five mark one two two sentences you write then importance i think we have marked this part is interested we have marked now role of an accountant all the six or seven headings six headings you right one on sentence also under them okay now we have completed this lesson we will go to the next lesson students before that you have to complete learning this full lesson only then you will be able to understand the next lesson that next lesson is also theory so get ready to learn that one that is very very important because there only you are going to learn all the that uh, basis that means uh, fundamental theory upon that only we are going to do the problems unless you know this one it, it will be difficult for you to learn do the problems okay so you have to uh, learn all that we have uh, learned today today no up to the today what you have learned all these things you have to study thoroughly okay every or the whole book you have to read they may ask from the book also okay Thank you students bye